What's up, everybody? Thralls Metal here once again. I'm the Croc Nick. I'm Jammin' John. And we have yet another album review for you, or rather an EP review for you, because, well, we saw the spam was coming out with another release. We love their last one. Yeah. We didn't want to miss it. Even though it's, like, super, super short, but uh, we don't care. We, we like yeah. going over shorter offerings, especially if they're this intense. So we are going to go over the latest offering from Strigoi, Bathed in a Black Sun. This also comes out on the 3rd of November on Season of Mist Records. Span formed in 2018 in England. This is their first EP. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been a fan since their debut album, Abandon All Faith. We went over Viscera and... I fucking love that album. Dark, brooding, menacing sounding beast of an album. This is essentially a uh, spiritual successor to uh, Gregor McIntosh's previous band, Valenfire. Uh, we know Gregor from, of course, Paradise Lost, fucking legendary band. This is sort of a much different outlet for him. Like, mm -hmm. granted, it is dark and brooding and, you know, all the things that Paradise Lost can be, but this is much more menacing, sinister, and HM2-driven just ugliness, and uh, it's just kind of the thing we like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's stupid heavy. Big, <laughs> dirty chugs, evil melodies, deep growls. The guitar tone is absolutely crushing. Big atmosphere, gigantic vocals. I mean, it's everything you would want from something like this. And what's really interesting about this band in general, and kind of the same thing with Valenfire, is it's sort of like a two-sided coin thing with this project. He both wants to capture, like, that more sinister death doom sound, but on the other side, he wants to capture, like, crust punk and grindcore and kind of whirl it up into not necessarily like, a homogenized thing. Like, it's mm -hmm. separated. Like, you're, you have songs that are straightforward grindcore. You have songs that are straightforward, like, death doom, and they all sound dark and brooding. Honestly, it kind of reminds me a lot of, like, Gate Creeper's last EP, An Unexpected Reality, where... The first half was just grindy excellence, and then the last track was honestly one of the best Death Doom songs oh, yeah. I think they've ever written. Oh, yeah. And uh, that is what Strigoi does, and they do it well, and it is on display on here uh, quite rapidly. Like, man, the opening track, the title track, just comes in dark. Icy, cold. Ugh. Ugh. Dissonant, droning riffs. It's slow and lumbering, and Gregor has some awesome vocals. Now I know I alluded to things like big chugs and dirty crunchy guitar tones and big sound and atmosphere. It would probably be because of whom it was mixed and mastered by uh, Brad Boatwright and Kurt Ballou. So right there. I see Kurt Ballou's name on a production list and I'm already excited. There's just something about how he mixes drums in particular. Yep. Yep. Like I swear this snare sounds like a combination of someone chopping wood and firing a gun at the same time. Like it's just this yeah. giant thwack, and man, the guitars on here, including the bass, because Gregor's bass is huge. It is mm -hmm. droning, massive, like all the low end is completely filled out on here. Snarling, and again, the biggest, crunchiest guitar tone, especially for what this is musically, uh, to be either both doom and or grind, to have that big of a presence in that guitar is just nuts. Yeah, no, there is no subtlety to this EP. It is dark and in your face. Even in its, you know, groovier moments, which, you know, definitely is the first track, but also A Spear of Perfect Grief, it's a really dark song title, <laughs> comes in stomping with, like, this very old-school kind of, like, Celtic Frost mm -hmm. riff, and then breaks into, like, a thrashy D-beat with, like, machine gun guitars. The riffs on there are so classic-sounding, but yeah. just sort of filter through this just aggro, disgusting guitar tone that does not want to be friends with anybody. There's some cool leads on there, like peppered in for more atmosphere. Like you do get some like, you know, slightly more like melodic moments on there, but a lot of it is to sound as evil as possible. And they want you to know that it's evil no matter what direction they go, because the short grindy songs, the grotesque, beautiful stigmata and the construct of misery are all just ugly sounding like very yeah. dark but hyper aggressive and especially beautiful stigmata at 41 seconds it's about as aggressive as it could be just a crusty grindcore song a lot of like napalm death influence yeah i mean uh, the grindier side of them it sounds like a combination of bloodbath and napalm death 
which that's like a co-headlining tour I would gladly give my money oh, to. Oh, 100%. Uh, yeah, especially the grotesque, how it like kind of pivots back and forth between like crusty D beats, mm-hmm. like old school discharge to just ravenous blast beats and just grind shit fits, as I would call it. Like they're just kind of losing their shit for a bit and then kind of back to that D beat swagger and then... Well, they're, they're blasting once again because there's only like, you know, under three minutes of song there. So they got a lot of aggression to get out and I think like, what, two minutes and 50 seconds. Two minutes and 56 seconds. That extra six seconds matters. It really does. But Beautiful Stigmata is kind of strange because that's the only one where I think uh, Gregor's vocal cadence really speeds up. He has a very deliberate pace. Mm-hmm. Like He likes to extend growls out to make them sound as creepy as possible. And again, very bloodbath. Yeah. Like, it just sounds gnarly, but uh, the construct of misery actually has a cool instrumental lead in it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it reminds me a lot of, like, the beginning of Siege of Power by Napalm Death off of Scum. You know, very classic reference. But, yeah, it kind of leads you in with this, like, almost kind of punky, thrashy riff. And then, like, the last 20 or 30 seconds yeah. of it is a rabid grindcore shit fit once again and they excel at both ends of the spectrum it's right after that morbid angel dive bomb yeah the tremolo e just kind of airy just boom and then off to the races and you do get like some extra stuff on here like there are some more industrial vibes to uh bay of the black sun like definitely remind me a lot of god flesh mm-hmm. like you have like a more electronic sounding drum and just that sort of like grimy, dingy sounding like bass and guitar on there. Pretty much uh, while this EP is only what, like 13 minutes or something like that? I don't even think it's that. 7, <laughs> 8, 9, maybe 12, maybe maybe 13. I don't know. It's very short. It's an ominous number. We're going to stick with 13. Uh, yeah, it is pretty much inescapable darkness and violence and it's insanely heavy, mm-hmm. but also well done in terms of like going back and forth between two very different sides of the metal slash extreme music uh, spectrum there. So overall, I'm going to give it four stars. For only being 13 minutes long, and it may be less, I don't know, <laughs> but for only being that long, it really runs the gamut as far as inclusion of dynamic. Like it, It's it's doomy, it's deathy, it's grindy, it's thrashy, it's groovy, it's riffy, and you pack all these punches into five very short songs. The tone of everything is just nasty. It just sounds gross, um, much like it should be for a project like this. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't really have anything bad to say about it other than it being so short, but it's four stars. If you're a fan of Celtic Frost and Paradise Lost and Napalm Death and Bloodbath and probably a, a, a myriad of other disgusting sounding bands that write killer albums, you're gonna love this. I'd recommend checking it out. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm on the same page there. I, I don't really have any like huge negatives on here. I think they just did a short offering well here, so I'm also going to give it four stars. Uh, all the songs bang, and for the most part, they kind of bang in different ways, yeah. which I really like about this, and by extension, Valonfire. I like that all of the influences on here sound very classic in terms of like extreme metal. Like you have cross punk, you have definitely a lot of like early Napalm Death, Celtic Frost, you know, the HM2 classic Swedish death metal tone on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the only thing like super modern about this is maybe the production. And I don't have any complaints there because I pretty much like anything Kurt Ballou touches. Yeah, every song on here whoops ass. If you are a big grindcore fan, I recommend this. If you're a big Death Doom fan, I recommend mm-hmm. this. If you just like insanely heavy, dark music, uh, that is 100% this band. So yeah, check this out. Check out their full lengths too. Both yeah. of them are awesome. And yeah, again, check out Valonfire. Eventually I want to do like some sort of like retro review of that band just because, yeah. man, that band was heavier in hell too. Uh, but yeah, no, this, this whoops ass. So if you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe because we do stuff like this all, all the, the time. time. We are also on Patreon. If you'd like to help us out there, there's a link down below, thrallsmetal.com. Our link to our Patreon is there. It is also on our channel, but thrallsmetal.com is where you go to find 
Well, uh, for all this metal stuff, we have new t-shirts, we have old t-shirts at a discounted price, and we also have hats now, so if you're looking for any of our stuff, that is where to find it. And last but not least, thank you guys for continuing to show up here and watching all our content, which I know we put out quite a lot of. What's amazing to me is that the numbers keep growing. We just passed 16,000 subscribers, which is mind-blowing to me, uh, but nonetheless, here we are. We couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you for becoming part of the Thralls of Metal family and for continuing to support us which is mind-blowing in itself because I know us but here we are thank you nonetheless I told our fans secretly that uh, you would give them all like a nice little fondling in the <laughs> undercarriage if we hit 16,000 subscribers did you now yeah so uh, you don't get to wear gloves either I have arthritis kind of so I wouldn't expect it to be like a grandiose fondle but you know, 16,000 is 16,000. We'll make him wash his hands. He wipes from uh, back to front. So, <laughs> you know, never learn the other way. Oh, well. Everyone's got to have a thing. <laughs> you know, it's special. That's something special about me. Washing your hands better be also your thing. I wash them back to front. Oh, okay. But anyway, thank you guys so much for all your support. You guys all rule tons of stuff coming in the future. So definitely stay tuned. And one more time. You guys are the real heroes here, so we will catch you later.